So we're inside Identity Cloud Service and we're going to show you how to manage users and roles. First, we're going to start in the Groups page, okay? And we're going to create two groups. So the first group, we're going to call it the GEMP. So those would be our employees. Then we'll add another group, we'll call it the G Manager. So now we have two groups and we're going to add users to those groups. Uh, to make it simple, we're just going to add a single user to each group. To the GMP, we're going to add a uh, Brian, who's one of our users. And then to the um, uh, G Manager, we're going to add the user Shai. So again, click on users and we're going to add um, one of our users here. Okay, so now we have two users that we added into our groups. So now let's go over into Visual Builder and play with one of our apps. So we have an, a basic app here and we're going to start by going into the settings and under the settings there's an area for defining user roles. We're going to add a couple of roles. First role is going to be manager. Okay. And this needs to map to one of our IDCS groups, in our case, the group for manager. We'll click the little V. Let's add another role. We'll call this role the AMP role, and this would map to our G AMP group. Again, pressing the V. And now we have two roles inside Visual Builder. Okay. The user that would be logged in, based on the group that they are in, would be assigned a role in our application. Now let's go and see how this impacts our application. Let's start with the business object. We have here the employees object that we're working with. And um, there's a security layer here. And we can now see our new roles over here. And we can also see that any authenticated user right now can do all the operation. So one thing we can do is we can say, look, we don't want every authenticated user to be able to access our business object. We just want those users that are part of the role. Okay. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, if you're a manager, you're able to do all the operation on our employees. If you're an employee, you can only view employees. We can further restrict it by saying, when you're viewing an employee, there's a condition in place, and you can only view employees whose salary is, let's say, less than, um, let's put here, 3,000. So less or equal to 3,000. Okay. So now we put a restriction on which employees you can see based on a value in a row. So this is security at the business object layer. We can also define security on specific items in our UI. Okay. For example, we have the chart here. Maybe we want to hide the chart if you're not a manager. To do that, we're going to pick up the chart and we're going to use right click here to surround the chart with an if component. Okay. So now we have an if component around the chart and the condition right now is true. And instead of two, what we want to have here is we want to access the roles that the user has. Okay. So um, in our case, we go here. Let's assume that each user has only one role, so this array would only have one record. We pick up that record and we'll ask, is this record equal to manager? And if it is, then we're allowed to see the chart. Okay. And we can now verify this by using this little button here. Okay, so let's see what happens if we are a manager. Okay, the page re-renders and we see the chart. If we will switch over and say, now we're just an employee, page re-renders and we can only, s we don't see the um, chart over here. Furthermore, you can see that some of the employees have disappeared from our list because we are not allowed to view them. All right, so now we set these security aspects here. And the next thing we can do is we can stage our application. So let's do it from here. We'll stage our application and we'll keep the existing data in stage. And then if we go to the home page, we'll have the link to the staged application over here. 
So when we open the stage application, right now we're logged in as Shai. Shai is a manager, therefore he can see all the employees, including employees with salary like 4,000. He can see the chart, he can click on an employee, and he can go over and update the details about an employee like that. Okay, let's copy the same URL and um, and invoke it over here where we are now logged in as Brian. So Brian is one of our AMP roles. Therefore, he can see all the employees. He can only see employees that have a salary that is 3,000 or less. Okay? He can also not see the chart. Okay? He can actually navigate to the edit page and he can tie and update the data. But when he click save, he would get an error saying, hey, you can't save because we removed the editing capabilities for this user. So this is some of the basic things you can do to control who sees what in your application and who has access to your business object to do what operation.